Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adam again from GHL Mastery. In today's video, let's just say if you've gotten this far, we are now into the nuts and bolts of setting up sub accounts. In today's video, we're going to be talking about setting up the domains for your sub accounts. And that's going to include your websites and funnel domains, as well as your branded domains. And there's a lot of confusion oftentimes around branded domains and how they integrate and link with the agency API domains and things of that nature. So we're going to cover all of that in this video so that you know exactly how to set up your client's domains inside the system as well as what are branded domains even for and where are they used inside the system. So with that being said guys, let's dive right in. All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be going through how to set up domains inside your sub account. Now, it seems pretty self-explanatory that if you're setting up a business inside of high level, they're going to need a website in order to navigate to that website. You need to have a domain. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down into the settings inside the sub account and we're going to go to domains. Now, right now there are no domains found. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect a domain and I'm just going to use the GHL master one again, but I'm going to call this one masterclass.joingHLmastery.com and we're going to click continue. Now, if you're just using a regular root domain, you're going to use the root right here. And then that's going to ask you to add an A record, which we've covered in previous videos. And then it'll also ask you, do you want to also add www dot, which I highly recommend that you do because it's just kind of habit now in 2024 that people will add the www dot. And then you're going to need to do domain forwarding on that domain. But in this case, we're just going to use masterclass.joingjhlmastery.com, which is going to be our main domain. So we're going to click continue. And again, you can add the record manually if you're not using any of the major domain or DNS hosting providers, but I do. So I'm going to hit continue and we're going to do this the automatic way. Perfect. We're going to hit authorize domain and we're going to say, yep, we're going to add the subdomain of masterclass and this is going to be the content or the destination. So we're going to do that. It's now going to be authorizing. And again, guys, this can take some time. So don't panic if this doesn't work right out of the gate. Um, you also may have issues where this doesn't authorize the domain right away. And so one of the things that you're going to want to do is just log into your DNS provider and double check to make sure that the records got added correctly. We have at times in the past had to delete that record and then manually add that record back in in order to make it work. Uh, but most of the time it'll work. And now you get to choose where do you want that domain? Now, in this particular case, I don't currently have a funnel. I don't currently have a website. I don't have a store and I don't have a blog. So I'm just going to proceed and finish for now. And this is going to be a unmatched domain. So the domain is now exists inside the system. But now what I need to do is I need to get a funnel on here and ideally a funnel that already has terms of service and things of that nature on it, because you're going to need those for the A2P registration portion of this video. So I'm going to go and set up a funnel and I'm going to show you how to then link this domain to that funnel. Okay guys, so I've added our default terms of service funnel into this system. And so now we can actually go ahead and assign this domain to this funnel. Obviously, if you're doing something for a client, you're gonna have a much fancier funnel than this. But if you need terms of services, there's going to be a link in the A2P registration where you can actually get access to this snapshot as well so that you have some default terms of services for your sub accounts. But that's not the purpose of this video. We're gonna dive into linking the domain. So there's two ways that you can do this. Okay, way number one is you can go into settings and you can link the domain to this funnel, which I'm gonna show you right now. And we're gonna click save. That domain is now linked to the funnel. So you'll see it right here. We've got the domain right here with the domain path that is the default for this funnel. Now here's something that's really, really important for you to understand is that as of right now, because we haven't set the root of this domain to this funnel, if I go to masterclass.joingjhlmastery.com, it's not going to work. I'm going to get a 404 error because it says page not found. That's because I have not mapped the root to this funnel, to this domain. So let's go back into our settings. Let's go to domains. And right now we're just going to click this edit button. And we're going to do default page is rewards consultation call. And the default 404 would be, you can either create a 404 page or you can have a, just send it to the home page so that if that path does not exist, it will go there. So now let's click save and there we have it. So now let's do this again. There you go. So it's now linked to that page. Although I don't have the calendar set up properly for this page just yet, but that's fine. It is now 
linked to that funnel. And that is gonna be the default route for that domain right there. So there you go, guys. That is how you set the domain up at the settings level as well as on the funnels themselves. All right, guys, next on the list of things that you've got to do in order to get your sub accounts set up and ready to go for use, we're going to set up the branded domain next. And so if you recall, when we were setting up at the agency level, we had the API domain. What we're now going to be doing is replacing the API domain with a branded domain for this company. What are those used for? Well, they're used for any time you send a link to somebody. So if you send the raw form to somebody, it's gonna have the branded domain. If you send a payment link to somebody, it's gonna have the branded domain. If you send a trigger link to somebody, it's gonna have the branded domain. And so you wanna make sure that the branded domains match the business that you're setting this up for so that when people get links, they're not getting links to your API branded domain because people might not quite understand that. And I'm gonna give you a example. If you've got you know A plus roofing as your client and they're sending links to their customers and their customers are getting link.nurturebox.com, which is our white label API domain, they might think, well, what the heck is this link? It's supposed to be A plus roofing. So what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be setting up the branded domain for A plus roofing so that when they send links to their clients through text messages, through emails, whatever the case may be, that they're gonna be getting a branded link for A plus roofing, okay? Now, this is, again, following the same structure as all of the other domain videos that we've that we've watched. There's the automagic way and there's the manual way to do it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a subdomain for this, and we like to use link. In this case, I already have link.joingghlmastery, so I'm gonna do links.joingghlmastery.com. Okay, so we're gonna create a subdomain called links.joingghlmastery.com. If you hover over this, this is gonna show you where you need to point the CNAME record to. So it's brand.ludicrous.cloud. But we're gonna do it the automagic way again. We're gonna hit add domain, and we're gonna click continue. And we're gonna authorize the domain again, which is gonna magically add that DNS record, and our branded domain is now going to work. And I'm gonna show you guys, once this authorizes, kind of exactly what I mean by that. All right, the branded domain is now done. So, so let's give you guys an example of where the branded domain is going to come into play here. So one of the major ones that you're gonna see is gonna be in trigger links. And so you'll see that I've got a couple different trigger links in here already because of the snapshot that we loaded in. So let's go and create a contact. And I'm just gonna add myself in here. And I'm gonna add adam at joinghlmastery.com. We'll skip the phone number for now. And I'm gonna send myself an email. This is a test. And then inside here, I'm gonna add one of the trigger links to this email. So I'm gonna add the appointment status trigger link just for fun. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click send. Now inside here, you're gonna see that this is links.joinghlmaster.com and then a random path kind of behind it right here. So that is what your branded domain is gonna look like when you send these links to people. Um, and that's gonna be payment links, that's gonna be trigger links, and that's gonna be raw form links and things of that nature. So that is what your branded domain is doing. It obviously just creates a lot of cohesion between the brand that's sending them the message and the links that they're getting from that brand instead of it being your white label domain. So there you go, guys, that is branded links. Hey guys, I hope you found that video useful and helpful for you getting your company set up in high level and getting your white label started with the high level ecosystem. Now, if you're just starting out your journey in the high level ecosystem, or maybe you're even an intermediate um, or consider yourself an expert that just wants to know a little bit more about the high level platform and how you can leverage it, I would encourage you to go and click the link in the description below this video and hop into our GHL Mastery program. What do we do inside of our GHL Mastery program? Well, we have five calls every single day of the week, Monday through Friday for two hours a day, where we actually help you get into your system, help you build, help you troubleshoot, and just overall help elevate your overall skill set on the high level platform. So if you're interested in getting hands on every single day support plus, a couple of bonus goodies, snapshots, AI systems, the like, then go ahead and click the link below to join our GHL Mastery VIP group. And I promise you, you will learn more in one month than you will in six months doing this on your own. We will see you in the next one. Take care.